If you are thinking of buying SWE or you currently hold SWE at this moment and you don't understand its tokenomics, you are very, very, very likely to lose your money in crypto. Tokenomics could be one of the most important aspects of a cryptocurrency and why it's going to potentially moon like this or potentially crash and burn like this. And instead of feeling like this, you're gonna feel like this. I'm gonna go over three chapters in this video covering the core components, gas fees, staking, as well as the allocation and inflation of SWE. You're gonna basically know everything that you need to know about the tokenomics of SWE. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna put all this information together. I'm going to explain how I think the tokenomics will affect the SWE price moving forward and whether or not you're going to lose all of your money or you're gonna make boatloads of cold, hard cash. Now, this is not financial advice. Do not take this information and invest accordingly. Chapter one, SWE token, four components, gas fees, and the storage fund. What is it and how does it work? The SWE token is the SWE platform's native asset, which means it's the token that is used to operate the chain, which means that it's either used to execute transactions, reward validators, delegators, stake, transfer, build. It is the token that is the blood force that makes the SWE platform operate. Gas fees are taken for every transaction on the SWE blockchain, which is basically a fee that the blockchain takes for using its services. Each transaction on the SWE blockchain takes two types of fees, one a computational fee and one a storage fee. Computational fees are fees generated to execute transactions, compute things on the blockchain, while the storage fee is another part of that fee that goes towards storing data on the chain. When fees are taken on a blockchain, this generates revenue and it builds value for the holders. This aspect of the SWE blockchain is something that I find very interesting and I haven't seen with other layer one blockchains, but that is the storage fund. It's a fund that holds a part of the staking rewards or the transaction fees the storage fee. The SWE economic design includes a storage fund that redistributes storage fees that will pay future validators for the cost to hold data on the chain. This way future fees do not increase to pay for storing past data. This creates a quasi lockup of the tokens on the chain, so somewhat curbs the inflation. However, it's possible for these tokens to be redistributed back into circulation. Now, I do have some concerns about the inflation of the SWE token, but this is something I'm going to cover in the last chapter. After this video. So for each transaction on the SWE network, a portion of those fees go to the storage fund and a portion of those computational fees go towards staking rewards. As you can see in this diagram, then staking rewards that do not go to validators and delegators go back into the storage fund. So it's kind of like a circular loop. Part of the fees go into the staking rewards, part of the fees go into the storage fund, part of those staking rewards go to the delegators and the validators and people staking. The storage fund only pays out on revenue that is generated from capital and not on the principal. The staking fund has a rebate option where if a user decides to delete data that was stored on the chain, there'll be a rebate of that amount going back to the user, thus putting it back into circulation. Chapter two, staking. There's good news and bad news about the staking rewards on the SWE blockchain. Now people who stake their SWE to the blockchain will be rewarded from the staking fund. So part of the computational fees will go to these validators or delegators who are staking their token. If you don't fully understand what staking is, it's almost like lending your tokens to the chain and then they pay you a royalty for doing so. Currently, staking SWE will get you about 2.8% annual yield on your token. That is not a set amount. That will change varying depending on how many users, how many, what percentage of circulation of the tokens are staked to the chain. This percentage is a bit lower than other layer ones like Solana, which is about 6.5%, Ethereum, which is about 3.8%, and even Avalanche is about 7.8% yield. So SWE does have a lower yield than the other competitive layer one blockchains. When your token is staked, it's essentially locked and cannot be traded. Now on SWE, there is a one day lockup period, which is basically one epoch. It'll take one day to unlock your staked tokens and be able to trade them, transfer them, move them around, do things with them on the chain. Now we're about to get into the part of the SWE token that most concerns me, that I'm most bearish about, even though I am very excited about the technology of SWE and what they're doing and the users are building, there's a lot of bullish information. This part of the SWE tokenomics is something that I think is very important for you holders or buyers to know about because it's going to affect the price of SWE. Chapter three, allocation and inflation. There is a max cap 10 billion supply of 
SWE tokens. Currently, there are 2.8 billion in circulation. So that means that only 28% of all the SWE tokens are in circulation. So what that means is there's going to be a lot of inflation. There's gonna be a lot of inflation and for a long time. So even though SWE implemented a fee structure that partially locks up some of the tokens in the storage fund, there still is a unlock and there's an emission growth and inflation to this token that is not exciting to see. Now, if you look at this graph here, only a small portion of the emission schedule is actual fees from the chain or staking rewards. The other large majority is going to be held by either Miston Labs, the team who built the SWE blockchain, or is gonna be held with VCs and early investors. The fees you're gonna see at the bottom, which is dark blue. Then you have early contributors in yellow, which is basically VCs. Then you have community reserves and community access program that is most likely for paying developers to build. But ultimately, all of these emissions will turn into sell pressure on the SWE token. Now, if you look from January 2025 to 2026, we're gonna have an inflation of about 1 billion SWE tokens. At the current price, that is gonna be 3.6 billion dollars worth of sell pressure it's going to be put on this token in the next year now if the price of sweet does go up that sell pressure increases if sweet goes up to five dollars we're talking about five billion dollars of sell pressure it goes up to seven dollars and you understand the picture now if you look at the graph again each year, there's a slightly less amount of tokens that are going to be emitted. However, the following year, it's almost a billion as well, just under a billion. And this goes on until 2030. If you look at the graph closer, we are old, this only covers about half of the circulation of SWE tokens up to 2030. is gonna be about a little less than 5 billion SWE tokens in circulation by 2030. We don't know how long it will take for it to get up to the max supply of 10 billion. So as much as we know, there's going to be consistent inflation and sell pressure on this token. If you look at this image, it shows the percentage of tokens allocated to which group. The community was given 10% or 1 billion tokens. Staking rewards is 9.5% or 950 million. Series a, which is probably VCs, received 7% or 714 million. Series B, which is more VCs or investors funds, got 7% or 700 million. 6% went to early contributors, which is also VCs. Community Access Program got 5.8% and Mission Labs, the team that was behind building the chain, got 1.6% or 163 million tokens. However, there's another 52% or 5 billion tokens that just says it will be allocated after 2030. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. However, overall, this does not look great. I will leave links to the websites where I'm getting my information in the description of this video. Now, I want to finally give you my thoughts on how I think all this information is going to affect the SWE token price. This is not financial advice. Again, do not take this advice, but this is based on my three cycles of experience in crypto and what I'm gonna see. So basically right now, we are at all time highs at $3.60 at a little over a $10 billion dollar valuation market cap. So historically, we are on the back end of a bull market that should be ending somewhere early to mid 2025 to end of 2025. This is based on the last four historical halving cycles. It's based on Bitcoin and it's based on the altcoins that experienced the cycles the last three times. Full disclosure, I am a holder of SWE token. I was not super, super early. I got in at about $1.50 mark. So I am in the green right now, but I do consider this a very high risk token because these altcoins have a tendency to crash super, 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 super hard in the bear markets. Based on the narrative and the technology of SWE, I'm looking at it similar to Sol in the previous cycle. High fast transactions, speeds, proof of stake. I think it's possible that it's gonna follow a similar trajectory. So as I don't think we're at the peak of the bull market or all time highs at this point, I am bullish in the short term. However, in the long term, I think this coin is going to crash, 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 super, super hard. If you look at Seoul from the previous cycle, it dropped 96% from $260 down to $8. Now this is very, very, very important. If you don't understand this, there's a very good chance you are going to lose your shirt and sweet in the cryptocurrency market in general, all these influencers, all these gurus that are telling you diamond hands and hodl till you die and, and all this cult-like garbage, this is not how it works, all right? 
there's a bull market, it rallies, things rally, and it comes crashing down and it's done it every single time. And I don't see why this cycle will be any different. So I will be selling this token as well as my other tokens. As the bull market continues to go up, I'm going to be taking profits along the way. I've actually already started selling some of my soul and I did a video about it. You can check it out here. People were making fun of me, telling me I'm dumb, but I'm up over 10X. I bought soul back in the last bear market, as you can see, and I've done really well. So I'm taking profits off the table and I wanna leave this bull market in the green and not like the noobs and not like the diamond hands and not like all these people who are going to get really, 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 really wrecked in the next bear market. Even though I think it's possible that SWE could get up to the 40, 50 billion, maybe 60 billion market cap range, we don't know, nobody knows, but I do think it's possible. You do have to keep in mind that this is not the beginning of the bull market. There were people buying a year ago, year and a half ago at the 30 cent range, 40 cent range, and those people are going to be making money off of you left and right. They're, you are going to be buying their bags as they're making 10X, 15X, 20X as this market goes up and you think that that the bull run is just starting. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, let me know what you think about this. Let's go. Woo!